we are going to discuss about one program in files so write a c program to read last n characters of the file using appropriate file functions suppose we can take one file that file contains some information so now we have to read the n number of characters from the end of the file so here we are starting at end of the file so from the end of the file we have to read last n characters by using the appropriate file handling functions so to read last n characters of the file we are using two file handling functions first one is a fseek function and second one is a fgetseek function by using these two functions we have to read last n characters of the file so fseek function contains three parameters so first one is file pointer second one is offset third one is position so now position value is equal to 2 so position value is equal to 2 it indicates the end of the file so from the end of the file we have to move backward direction so for that purpose offset value we can take the negative value okay how many number of characters that can be moved in backward direction that is minus n characters so file pointer is fp so therefore fc fp minus n 2 this is the fc function next one to read the characters from the file we have to use fgetc functions so by using these two functions we have to write the c program i should include stvio.h Hash include stdlib dot h standard library dot h so void main file pointer fp char ch int yen so clr cr so fp is equal to f open file name dot c double quotes and put in read mode if fp equal to equal to null so then printer file does not exist printer file does not exist so exit of 1 yes printer enter the number of characters enter the number of characters that is to be read from the end from the end of the file so 
slash and double quotes and parentheses close semicolon to scan up percentage D double quotes and ampersand N. Next, FC, FP, FC, FP minus N two. So that is from the end of the file, we have to move backward direction n characters. So then ch is equal to f get c of f p by ch not equal to end of the file so then print of percentage is c ch next ch is equal to f get c of fp so then f close of fp gets h okay so this is the given program so here hash include stdio.h hash include coloh hash include stdlib.h so this standard library can be added to the given program because here exit function is available in standard library function so in any program exit function is there so then <coughs> that exit function is available in standard library header file so we can add this header file to your program so void main file pointer fp so fp is a file pointer to the data type file char ch int n how many number of characters to be read from the end of the file clr scr so now we have to take a given file that file can be opened in read mode okay so suppose if fp equal to equal to null so file does not exist we can exit from the pro file else printf enter the number of characters that is to be read from the end of the file okay if, suppose if the file does not equal to does not equal to null so then how many number of characters that is to be read from the end of the file so that is scan f percentage d ampersand n so now we have to use the fseq function fseq file pointer minus n comma 2 here 2 is nothing but position value position value is equal to 2 that indicates the end of the file so here from the end of the file we have to move n number of characters in backward direction so to the file pointer so then ch is equal to f get c of fp now we have to read uh, n number of characters from the end of the file so whatever the character that is to be read so that character can be assigned to ch character ch if ch is in while ch not equal to evof so if the if the read if the f get c function read the character from the file if the character is not the end of the file so then it prints the character so again uh, file pointer can be incremented again mainly we have to read the second character so that character check it is the end of the file or not if it is not the end of the file so then it is printed again it increments the 
high pointer the same procedure is repeated until the n n number of characters to be read so then after that after reading n characters that n number of characters are displayed on the screen so then after that we have to close the open file so then get ch so this is the given program thank you thank you for watching this video